Welcome to Ucanic. In this video, we're going to show you how to diagnose a Tesla. Here, we're working on a Tesla Model S. On this car, the OBD2 port is right underneath the dashboard. See it right there? We have plugged in the Ucanic adapter. It's flashing, so it's right above to the left of the brake pedal. Now, some models will have a diagnostic port right down here. Some models will have the connectors. They don't have a port. They have a blue connector either on the pillar uh, you have to take the trim off or behind the seats underneath you have a blue connector so we have an adapter for the Teslas that uh, you plug in to those ports and then it becomes an OBD2 port um, because the adapter it's like a blue um, 16 pin blue port that um, it's not technically an OBD2 port but there's an adapter that goes from um, those that fits those connectors to an OBD2 port anyway the for the newer models but this one has OBD2 port we're going to use the Ucanic scanner we're going to show you how to actually diagnose read all the codes see what they are and clear them so let's do that so on this scanner what you need to go to do is go to diagnostics over here and then scroll down to find Tesla and do smart VIN press OK and then you can manually select any of the control modules like if you know which one you're looking to read the codes from you can see there's a lot of different control modules for example this model s does not have an air suspension so if you try to read that you're just gonna get no communication what you could do if if you go back is you can run a quick scan what this will actually do is we will it will check all control modules that are present on this car and I'll go through them and I'll tell you if there's any codes in any of them so this does take a couple of minutes so we're going to let this finish it's already at 12 percent but it will go through different control modules and um, tell us so let's take a look you can see several of them have no full codes but there are going to be a few that do have codes and we're going to see them here in just a minute so the scan is complete. You can see the control modules there are installed on this. You can enter any of them by selecting them. You have full codes. You can save this report, email it if you like. If you click this arrow, you can see the codes here. Usually you can see more detailed description, but on this TPMS, the full codes don't really have detailed descriptions in there. That's the only codes we see. So what you can do though, once it's recommended to save the report and then you can go down here, erase, erase all. Now it's gonna go through, technically if you had various control modules with full codes, it will go through them and it'll clear anyone that can be cleared. If it's an active issue, like in this case with these codes in TPMS, um, they won't clear. But if they're just old store codes, then they will clear and then uh, all the active, once they still need to be addressed, will will need to be fixed first before you can come back and clear them. But that's how you can diagnose Tesla. Uh, run a full scan, look at the full codes uh, with a Ucanic scanner. Thank you for watching Ucanic, where you can be the mechanic.